Okay guys, so one of my gifts is teaching. Um, a lot of times when I have worked in certain places, I just see how they train. I see how, you know, especially restaurants do not want to train people. They don't want a solid foundation. They want you to jump in. They want you to just do whatever they need done without the good training. And if they had better training, they would be able to keep people. They wouldn't have such a high turnover. Um, so restaurants are used to a high turnover. They're used to people coming and going. Um, they don't usually have good systems in place. I, it's very few that you will see that have really good systems. So same thing here with teaching. This is something that I've done all throughout my, um, adulthood. Um, I didn't have anyone to really teach me growing up, um, some things, so I really have a desire to teach other women. Um, when I had my firstborn son, I had a lady, Connie. I took mock classes on how to mother. And again, I was astonished that you could actually be intentional about parenting. Um, rather than just like surviving the teen years, you actually can be intentional. So um, she taught me, you know, teach children to be respectful um, courteous, obedient, uh, to know God, to transfer their obedience from you to God. Um, just a lot of really neat things that I had a really good start with my, uh, parenting to pray about everything, um, to, you know, in your, in your parenting, to pray, to walk with your children and Deuteronomy, it talks about walking with your children and teaching them the word of God. So I spent a lot of my time teaching my kids about God. Um, how they, you know, what they do with that later is up to them. But as I continue to learn myself, I will be starting this Bible study. And this is about um, teaching. Um, I'll be teaching a little devotional here on women of the Bible. And what they did is how they lay it out. And you can join me here. I'm going to try to be faithful with this. I have work coming up, an interview coming up. Um, I have a couple job offers. So that usually is what will throw me off is the work. Because I tend to like quality. I tend to like to be home. Um, I've, you know, my main job in life has been being a wife, a mother, a homemaker, um, a homeschool mom and to be in the community and church and then to work kind of on the side. So if I take too much work, which I may have to really focus on my work and not get distracted with the things I love to do so much, but, um, you know, it's harder for me to have the extra time to, uh, you know, study more. So I really love to study. I love the um, little things in life, the, the things that bring me joy, working with my hands in a home. Um, I enjoy little things that matter. So, um, but as I do this, I'm going to try to stay faithful to this, even if I miss a few days. So Mondays, we will do her story. We'll pick one woman from the Bible. We'll talk about her story. And then Tuesday, <clears throat> we'll do her life. Um, background information, the culture of her day. We talk about how men have influenced the Bible, but we haven't talked a lot or given enough weight to how women have influenced um, the Bible and how the Bible is truly the story of God and his people, how much he loves us. Uh, we'll talk about her legacy in scripture, a short Bible study on her life with application to your own life. You can read the word of God, but if you don't apply it to your own life, it's worthless. Action matters. Uh, Thursday, her promise, Bible promises that apply to her life and yours. And then Friday, we'll look at her legacy of prayer, praying in light of her story. So we are going to go through this. If you want to join me, come on over and join me each day as I go through this book. This was borrowed from the library. They renew things automatically over here, which I love to give us more time. So I will be starting something later today after I go through this. Okay. Thanks for joining me, ladies.